Mars. Yeah, kind of reminds me of that. Anyway, wow, this is a formidable offense going on right here. Formidable. That's what I wanted to say, but I couldn't say it properly. Anyway, uh, I mean, really, we got carriers, a mothership, and a crap ton of medic marines all standing at the same time. Did you see that? That was cool. And uh, clearly not enough medevacs to really just keep up with everything. Uh, once again, going back to... Oh, oh, going back to the production tab. We see exactly what's coming out of LZ Gamer Base next. He's got a couple of Vikings as well as... And is doing that via Reactor Core, by the way. Um, as, as It says he's, he's making them, but I don't see him making where are they? Does he have another star? I don't think he does. Maybe they're already made. And uh, doesn't matter because he is making Vikings and more importantly a nuke with a couple of ghosts. Uh, in the meantime, we got some more upgrades going on for both players. Uh, oh, sorry, because that's Void Words. I'm an idiot. There they are. He's still pumping out the Vikings. LZ Gamer is um, not. He is not making a... He's probably got a nuke. I didn't look. Uh, it has... A, it does not have a nuke yet. No. So Team AG is not the ones that are nuking. Charlie Voyer are the ones that are nuking. Sorry for the confusion. You know, it's tough because, uh, you know, I don't know. I just messed up. <laughs> not much more to say. Uh, anyway, let's go back to the Army tab and see what we got going on. LZ Gamer maxed out, man. The other player sticking around 135. And really, it's funny. In control with such heavy, heavy PSI units, uh, not really all that high in the actual uh, food count. Kind of surprising. Is he still pumping out the carriers? He is. And uh, looks like even another Stargate, which I'm uh, not entirely sure of since he's not make, making carries out of the other ones anyway. And clearly full of Chrono Boost. Uh, now, once again, I got to say, it's it's not In Control's fault by any means that he's not using it. And I'm not saying that he doesn't have the APM to handle it. But it's one of those things I mentioned before. I think more and more that's going to be like one of the defining things of like a top, top level player is using... Chrono boost even late in the game and wow look at this in control. I like this spam it some cannons at the middle some static defense to add to it And and really it's gonna be uh, some nice added DPS at the same time We're seeing void words did the same with some turrets spamming the turrets Wow, and oh oh we got them They are once again engaging in the middle of the field We got protoss versus protoss and the Terrans are gonna lag behind on both ends and uh, wow, look at the mothership cloak on the Terran units. Yes, it's it's really killing my computer right now. This is a big battle, but... Oh, mothership goes down! The Vortex still going, though. That's kind of an interesting thing. But no storm. And LZ Gamer getting caught in the Vortex as well. Just running into it. And look at that. He's doing it for a purpose. He gets under the Vikings as they come out, as well as all the other units. And it looks like Team EG going to do some damage here by uh, some clever maneuvers by LZ Gamer. But look at all those storms going off. Wow, cleaning up LZ Gamer's units, and at the same time, Voidwards taking out the carriers. Wow, epic, epic, epic. Oh my god, LZ Gamer just spammed 10 ghosts. That's absurd. And look at these ghosts just taking units out. He's got the sniper shot. He can do a ton of damage to all these units individually if he does so please. And uh, I love it. He's got. He's going to have EMP rounds, of course, and uh, no nukes yet. But man, LZ Gamer preparing for battle. He is not messing around. And at the same time... Um, in control, I almost, I gotta rewind a little bit, guys. Sorry, I mean, just, just gotta do it. He, he, he was battling out at the same time over here, and, uh, I don't actually know, I didn't really rewind at all, apparently. <laughs> Let's try that one more time, I can always go forward. Oh, here it is, it's, it's the remnants of the battle. Alright, so, I didn't really miss anything. Let's just fast forward a little bit. It's going to really screw things up. And, and this is where we ended up. All right. So, uh, yeah, in control, just the remnants of his carrier force coming over here. Uh, but Void Words, you know, once again coming in with these Vikings. And now in, in mass numbers, you know, the Vikings doing a great job. At, but in control at the same time, did a pretty good job of taking out a whole bunch of units over here. Uh, but it looks like that last carrier not going to last. At the same time, snipers uh, running around over here. Let's get a little bit of a zoom in. Look at those guns. They're so long. My God, their EP is humongous. And they're going to just walk over these stalkers as they cloak in. And no, there are no obs. And they're going to pick off that Templar. Did they use a sniper round? It's hard to say. I mean, they do a lot of damage anyway. Wow, 26 damage in total versus light units. An awesome thing to behold for sure. Uh, stalkers in the meantime coming around to see if... Any bases are occupied up here by In Control. Oddly enough, they're not. However, Charlie Boy, I gotta say, they're up on the bases. But with a nuke coming out on the high yield, it's not gonna be that way for long. Man, I can't wait to see this happen. And they got a, a ton of ghosts to defend at the same time. Nuke goes off! 
Wow, Charlie just not able to even realize where that nuke was from. Scanning at the last second, but just not enough. I mean, he had no units there. He could have warped some stuff in, but you know what? If he didn't know how long ago the nuke went off, he just wouldn't be able to defend it, and he'd have to risk losing his warped-in units, his freshly warped-in units. So uh, clearly, he doesn't want to lose them. And and now let's uh, if we I still have the army tab up, which is nice because we can see that wow, things have gotten kind of low around these places. Uh, we got a hundred and a hundred. But for both the Protoss units, uh, players actually, I should say, it's funny. The Terran are matching them each other, and the Protoss are hanging around the same uh, food count range. So uh, let's go to the APM and see how low it's got for these players. That's all it would indicate, in my opinion. Uh, looks like Team EG lagging a little bit behind in the APM department. Come on, guys, pick it up. But uh, it looks like it's not going to be a, bit a problem at this point. I mean, really, they're so even in unit count, it just doesn't matter. Let's go back to the production tab. What do we got going on? More upgrades. Uh, finally getting charged up for... Uh, oh, wow. I didn't even... I'm watching it, and I'm not even watching it at the same time. Planetary Fortress against Mass Talker. That is going to go down for LZ Gamer. LZ Gamer going to lose that Planetary Fortress. I didn't even realize he was in the same base as Void Words. That's ridiculous. What? gall of LZ Gamer to be doing something like that. The audacity of this kid. I can't believe it. But uh, LZ Gamer going to lose that base. Planetary Fortress or not, it's not going to hold up to that amount of stalkers with such a nice concave taking them out. Uh, a little bit of video lag over here. By the way, new video card incoming in all likelihood. Uh, I'm looking to get a 4870x2 from ATI. Uh, and, and assuming I get that, there will never be video lag ever again. And we will be upgrading me from 720p to 1080p. Yes, I am excited, guys. This is going to be a fun time as soon as I get that up. It comes with the water block and everything. Going to hook it up to the line. Man, it's going to be fun. Looks like um, those Vikings still doing a great job of harassing, stopping another base from in of in control from going up. And, uh, man, this game is epic. We got a long, long hard-fought battle. And no! LZ Gamer going to lose his orbital command center. Man, he prepped it. Oh, it was from his main base that he did that. So, uh, LZ Gamer getting a little uh, hard up for minerals over here. Uh, but really, I mean, not all that far ahead is uh, Team Charlie Voy. And, and funny enough, in control was the guy who didn't have enough minerals early on and was slow in taking more bases after he lost his initial one. And now he's ahead for Team EG. Once again, carrying the team. LZ Gamer is a heavy load to bear. <laughs> Just kidding, Jake. And uh, no, but but really, look at, look at in control. Transitioning, realizing that these carriers just aren't um, paying for themselves anymore at this point. With uh, especially with all the storm that we've been seeing from Charlie Voy, it's just not really working in his favor anymore to go those carriers. And uh, at this point, oh sweet, we got some ravens out on the field. Uh, what do we got back in the production tab coming out for these players? Uh, looks like in control going to start going the storm route as well. Seeing how it's owned in the Terran so bad, the Terran in that case being LZ Gamer. Uh, but uh, you know. LZ Gamer with all these ghosts. Oh my god, he's got 15 ghosts. Gonna be real effective just picking them off left and right, but no, oh, he doesn't know there's actually a uh, observer right there, and one good storm could end the to the entire game for this group of ghosts if he's not careful. He's play oh man, 